You've seen the film, What the Bleep Do We Know? You've seen the secret. Are you ready for the next step? In search of the future. Where did we come from? Where are we going? What do the wise ones know? It has been said that humanity is about to undergo a major transformation, a major paradigm shift, or a quantum leap in consciousness. And looking around and reading the news, I think that's a very good idea. Love, it's love, it's love, it's all love. Don't look for nothing else, because it's all love. You don't get a future automatically because most species are extinct. And our species certainly seems to be approaching extinction. <laughs> so you're saying that we are not monkeys, that we're not going to become monkeys, or we are not coming from the monkeys? They say we started from Adam and Eva. He said all of us human beings, we come from the stars. We share with you some of the most important voices of our time. Come with us on a journey into the mists of time. I think he's telling me that a very long time ago animals mm. and people mm. were the same. Mm. The first people, many of them were all humans or we were all animals. Mm. The Liu was a, was a man. Uh, the lion was a man. Yeah. The, the, the mantis, uh, the, uh, the hot dog spot. The yakals. Alas was mensa. And the fulkis was mensa. Who comes ala no dira? Why are they not animals? What happened? That's a big change. So we started out in the Kalahari with the Bushmen, the oldest people on earth, genetically the oldest DNA, going back the first, certainly the first people of Africa and therefore very likely the first people. Are we all descended from the Bushmen? Good question. But we went to a 104 year old lady, Grandmother Anna, and we asked her these two questions. Where did we come from? Where are we going? Grandma. I'm very worried for you this year. And mess, they told you for that. Here is there what they so seen that in the light. He had vast most mess for him. And that is, you said, like you said, the stuff from the stair, but the mess, but the here mess was covered. Here the ground, that's more sad. You said, like you said, I saw a plum. I saw a plum. And there, there is the most, the here, the most, the most gemak. And as I now so terug think, I think, what was that that the most gemak was? And what, what is it now today? We live today not more here by our own land. We are not us. We are nagaslag. We are not nagaslag. I'm a Rikara Hiraza uh, native, and our belief is that. We came from the stars. We are star people. And we believe that all humanity is star people. We came from the stardust. The stardust came from the heavens, from the stars, and they came down and they touched the earth. But that's another thing, see, the, the Indian people, they would call them, the, they were, um, 
They were came from the stars, they say. Mang Kabanga Ungalo Ngoguzwa, Oba Minanga Nam Tachi. Mang is a no Babam Kulu, Babetumundo Kalawago Adam, no Eva. Nosotros las personas somos visitantes aquí y regresamos al otro mundo ya. Pero no nos vamos a convertir en changos, ¿verdad? <laughs> so you're saying that we are not monkeys. This is apenas el principio de de un gran descubrimiento. This seems like the beginning of a grand worldwide discovery. Peaco a kunono. Mesta que peaco a kunono. You've seen the film What the Bleep Do We Know? You've seen The Secret. Are you ready for the next step in search of the future? Where did we come from? Where are we going? What do the wise ones know? We're asking the powers of earth and sky, the water, the trees, all life. Come and help us. Jij moet weet, hier leven wat hier is. Je ziet de toekomst, maar je ziet ook de toekomst. I'm saying, if we are not careful, our future is going to be a very dark future. As a species, we're just really immature. And if you look at all the things that are going on in the world, they are all they all could be translated to what teenagers do when they get in those awkward years where they hang out with certain cliques. Um, they don't think of the long term. They think of going to the prom on Friday night and that's about as far away as they think and into the future. What could a new consciousness bring to life on this planet? Once we understand that, that feeling of love will open our heart and we will feel differently about our neighbor, about the world. And with that feeling, we will begin to create different requests, different assumptions. We will assume that we're loved, and therefore we will change our thinking and create a world of love, of peace, of abundance. So chaos theory provides a certain basis for optimism because uh, it, it gives us to un an understand the butterfly effect which says that in a chaotic, dynamical system, complex system like we live in, that a very small cause can produce a very large effect in the long run. So it gives hope for minority voices, activists, and so on, that uh, in fact what you do, even making this film, can have a huge effect in the long run. That's what you want. And chaos theory supports you. That's a wonderful piece of news. <laughs> Thank you. It's love. It's love. It's love. It's all love. Don't look for nothing else because it's all love. What do the wise ones know? Are you ready for the next step?